Okay, the lesson we're going to look at today is called perpendicular bisectors. Okay, so let's get started with what a perpendicular bisector is. Well, a per perpendicular bisector is a straight line. So it's a type of straight line. Now, it's a straight line that cuts another line at a right angle. That's the perpendicular bit. Perpendicular meaning that it cuts at a right angle. And it also cuts it in the middle, and that's the bisector bit. To bisect something means you cut it in the middle. So, for example, if I've got a line there, the perpendicular bisector would cut it in the middle, denoted by that, and it would also cut it at the right angle. So there's the original line, and that would be the perpendicular bisector. Okay, now, any triangle has got three perpendicular bisectors, because there's a perpendicular bisector of that side, cuts it in the middle, and at a right angle, there's a perpendicular bisector of that side, cuts it in the middle at a right angle, and there's a perpendicular bisector of this side, it cuts it in the middle and at a right angle. So each triangle has got a perpendicular bisector on each side, so that's the three perpendicular bisectors. So remember that a perpendicular bisector is a straight line. It cuts another straight line at a right angle, and it also cuts it in the middle. Now, because it's a straight line, that means the two things that we need to find the equation of a perpendicular bisector is we need a point and a gradient. Because for any straight line, to find it's an equation, you need a point that lies on the line and the gradient so that you can go into y minus b equals m bracket x minus a. And we're just going to explore some of that just now. Okay, so example one. We've got A as the point 5 minus 7. And B as the point 1, 3. The question then says find the equation of the perpendicular bisector of BA. Okay, the first thing that I'm going to do then is just sketch out what BA looks like, and it doesn't have to be a really accurate sketch, just something to get you down that I can work with. Okay, so there's B13 and there's A5-7. Now let's sketch out what a perpendicular bisector would look like. Well, the perpendicular bisector would first of all cut in the middle. And I can denote that with the two pairs of lines there cutting in the middle. And it would also cut at a right angle, meaning that it would cut perpendicular. Okay, so cut in the middle bisector and at a right angle, that's the perpendicular bit. Okay. Now, to find the gradient of the perpendicular bisector, I would need to first of all analyse the gradient here. So, there's the gradient of the perpendicular bisector. I don't have enough information to find that out directly. But what I'm going to do is find out the gradient of this line BA. And then once I do that, I can then use my knowledge of perpendicular lines to find the gradient of the blue line, which is the perpendicular bisector. So, let's go after the gradient of BA. So the gradient of BA then is going to be y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So x1, y1, x2, y2, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Okay, so that's going to be minus 7, minus 3 over 5, minus 1. Minus 7 minus 3 is minus 10. 5 minus 1 is 4. Don't leave that. I can simplify that. Divide top and bottom by 2. And that's going to bring me down to minus 5 over 2. So the gradient of the line BA is minus 5 over 2. Okay, then I use my knowledge about perpendicular lines. So I set that up with M1, M2 equals minus 1, which shows my intention that I intend to look at the gradient of perpendicular lines. 
So remember for perpendicular lines, what I do is I flip the fraction upside down and change its sign. So minus 5 over 2 now becomes positive 2 over 5. And this we upside down t, that's just me denoting that it's the perpendicular line and the gradient of that line that I'm looking for. Okay, so the perpendicular line then has got a gradient of 2 fifths. So what do I need? I need point gradient, so I've got the gradient of the blue line, but now I need to find the point. Now, if you think about it, this point cuts BA in half, so it's reasonable to think, well, if the x-coordinate of B is 1 and the x-coordinate of A is 5, then a good hunch there would be that the x-coordinate would be halfway in between there, which is 3. And then halfway in between 3 and minus 7, well, between 3 and minus 7, that's a 10 shift. So that would be minus 2. Now, we're not going to just do that in our head, though. We're going to use a new formula to find that out for definite. Okay, and that is called the midpoint formula. Now, the midpoint formula allows you to find just that, the midpoint of any line. And the bisector cuts right in the middle, so we're after this midpoint. Okay, so take us down the midpoint formula, MP for midpoint. The midpoint formula is an average of the x coordinates, that's x1 plus x2 or 2, and an average of the y coordinates, y1 plus y2 or 2. And that will give you the midpoint. Okay, so. An average of the x coordinates, well, there's the x coordinates there, so it's going to be 1 plus 5 over 2. So you definitely show the working for this. Okay, and then an average of the y coordinates, 3 plus minus 7 over 2, 3 minus 7 over 2. Okay, 1 plus 5 is 6, 6 over 2 is 3, 3 minus 7 is minus 4, minus 4 over 2 is minus 2. So the midpoint is definitely minus 2. Now, why do I need that? Well, it's because I need a point that lies on the line. I couldn't choose that one or that one because they don't lie on the line. I need the midpoint because that's the point that lies on the line. I've now got a gradient and a point. So remember, I'm going to call this point now AB. So there's A, there's B, and I'm going to sub everything into Y minus B equals M bracket X minus A. So that's going to be Y minus B which is minus 2, so that's y minus minus 2 equals the gradient, which is 2 fifths, bracket x minus a, which is 3. Okay, let's continue on with this. That's going to be y plus 2 is equal to 2 fifths, bracket x minus 3. I then want to eliminate that, divide by 5 by multiplying through by 5, so that's going to be Five, y times 5 is 5y, 2 times 5 is 10. That cancels that out and leaves me with 2 bracket x minus 3. 5y plus 10 is equal to 2x minus 6. Bring the 10 across, change its sign. 5y equals 2x minus 6 minus 10. And 5y equals 2x minus 16. Final answer. Okay, example Two. Example 2 is find the equation of the perpendicular bisector of the line joining A, 5 minus 3, and B, 7, 7. Okay, so let's first of all draw what that might look like. So not necessarily a really accurate drawing, but just something to get down. Okay, there's point 5 minus 3, and there is the point B, 7, 7. Okay, so let's draw in a perpendicular bisector. So the perpendicular bisector will first of all cut in the middle and it will also cut at a 
right angle. Okay, the first thing that I'm going to go after then is the gradient. So remember, if I can find the gradient of this line, I can then do my knowledge of perpendicular lines to find the gradient of this line. So let's go after the gradient of AB. Okay, so that's going to be y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Okay, so that's going to be 7 minus minus 3 over 7 minus 5. Okay, so it's 7 minus minus 3 over 7 minus 5. Okay, so 7 minus minus 3 is 7 plus 3, that's 10. 7 minus 5 is 2. 10 divided by 2, the gradient is 5. I then set up m1, m2 equals minus 1, and that's indicating to the examiner that I'm thinking about the gradient with perpendicular lines. Okay, so I'm now going to flip and invert. So 5, think about 5, 5, can put it as 5 over 1, so that's going to be minus 1 over 5 when I flip and invert. Okay. So that's the gradient of the line. The gradient of the line is minus one fifth. I now need to af go after the midpoint. Okay, so remember that the midpoint is an average of the x and the y coordinates. So that's my formula that I'll copy down. First of all, x1 plus x2 over 2, y1 plus y2 over 2. Okay, so x1 plus x2 over 2. So that's going to be 5 plus 7 over 2. And then y1 plus y2 over 2, minus 3 plus 7 over 2. Okay, 5 plus 7 is 12, 12 over 2 is 6, minus 3 plus 7 is 4, 4 over 2 is 2. The midpoint then is 6, 2. So that's the point. A, B, I've got the gradient, which is minus one fifth, and I'm going to throw that into Y minus B equals M bracket X minus A. So it's going to be Y minus two equals the gradient minus one fifth bracket X minus six. I'm then looking to eliminate that five by multiplying through the five, so it's going to be five Y minus 10 is equal to minus one bracket X minus six. Let's open that up. 5y minus 10 equals minus x minus 1 times minus 6 is plus 6. Okay, let's now bring that minus 10 across and that will become plus 10. 5y equals minus x plus 6 plus 10 and that's 5y equals minus x plus 16. Final answer. Okay, so now you try finding the equation of the perpendicular bisector of the line joining a minus 2, 0 and B to 6. Remember the first move is to sketch something out for it.